Hello friends, Tony here. One more thing about the user resource and let's go to the get started here on the filament. I'm going to work with the widgets in this video. So let's click here and as you can see here I have created some fake uh, users with a different created dot. So totally is uh, 12 users. Okay, let's go to the widgets and we have uh, stats widgets or uh, chart widgets. I'm going to work with the chart widgets for the user resource and to create the chart widgets we need to run the PHP artisan make colon filament widget dash widgets the name and then dash dash chart. So let's copy this command and paste it on the terminal. Just I'm going to change the name to be user user chart hit enter now would you like to create the page inside a resource is optional i'm going to leave that and where would you like to create this in the admin panel or app live wire i'm going to add in the admin panel so let's say enter and which type of uh, chart would you like to create bar bubble chart or what you like but I'm going to choose the bar here and you can change, uh, we can change later on the class. Now successfully created the user chart. Let's clean this and let's open the VS code. Inside the app filament we have widgets and here is the user chart. And we have the default class for the chart here. Protected function get data. And here we have the protected function get type, which return bar because we choose bar on the terminal. But as I said, if you don't like bar, you can choose a different type here. Now let's open again the filament. And here we have an example with uh, hard coded data. So you have a data set here labeled for blog post created. So when the blog post is created and we have the data here and the labels for the month of the year. So how many posts is created based on the month. So for the February we have 10 and March 5 and so on. And here we have a line type. Now this is hard coded but also we have a uh, generating chart data from an eloquent model but let's see here we have available chart types and we have a bar chart what we have chosen but if you don't like as I said you can change and you can go to chart.js documentation and take a look so here is the bar chart the bubble chart a line chart and so on Okay, you can customize the chart color and let's copy this and add it in our class here. So I'm going to add right here. Okay, now if I just paste it, this one inside here and let's save. Let's open the project, refresh and let's navigate in the dashboard. Yeah, here is the chart based on this uh, hard-coded data. But as I said, I want to generate chart data from the eloquent model. So to generate chart data from an eloquent model, Filament recommends that you install the Laravel trend package. And let's open this package documentation and install that. So let's copy this and paste it right here. Hit enter. And here you can read more about the Laravel trend. But also we have an example here. And I'm going to copy this and paste it in our uh, project. So I'm going to replace the hard-coded data with this. We need to import the trend here. So import, also import the trend value. 
and here we have a trend model and here we need to add the user model not the blog post so user model and here we have a between start and end and here we have a start now start of the year but if you don't like that you can change so for example i'm going to say start of a month and it's going to be end of month so like this and here i'm going to say per year per day sorry okay here now not blog post but i'm going to say user uh you're registered and i think we are okay let's save this and let's navigate in the project and refresh yeah here is the chart because we have for example on uh, 17 august we have registered three user and if i go to the users table and here we have 17 august we have three users created in that date okay now if uh, you don't like the color for example let's change that uh, success save come here and refresh yeah we have a different color or you can say uh, warning save come here and refresh yeah now uh, you can change also the chart so let's say uh, line and here we have a get type and let's say the line here save come here and refresh yeah here is the line and you can play with the filament chart widgets okay friends so that's it about this video just i wanted to show you how to create a widget about the eloquent model and display it here and change for example the chart also the color and you can play with the filters and so on. Now, if you like uh, such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, because it's going to help me to rank on YouTube. All the best and see you in the next video, friends.